Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. Today we are going to be doing the first official restoration here on the channel. So this here is a Power Mac G5 that um, I, we've had in our basement for quite a while. This is actually my dad's brother's computer. And I just thought it'd be kind of fun to restore it as it's just been sitting in a box for a very long time. And I thought, well, I mean, I don't know if this works or not. I mean, it's probably been sitting there for probably 10 years. So I thought I might as well do a bit of a restoration on it. So this is the um, iMac G5 computer, as you can tell. And this is actually one of the later models as it has an iSight camera. And now this, the cool thing about these ones is they're super easy to take apart. So if there is a problem with it, we can actually fix it by just unscrewing it. So let's get started. I guess the first thing we can do would be boot up the computer. So I'm plugged in, three, two, one, all right, there goes the light. It's doing some. There's the bong. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it's staying black for a bit. I wonder if like this is how all of them boot up, like if it takes this long. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. This is a Power PC CPU. It's not an Intel one. This is the Power PC G5 CPU. So I don't know the specs of this thing. Oh, it's on the flash. And look at that. We have a blinking question mark. So what I'm thinking is this computer doesn't have an operating system on it or the hard drive has failed. So I'm not so sure if I want to do this, but just in case I did bring a Mac OS Leopard install copy with the Mac OS Leopard um, CD there. So I might have to install this, but if this thing doesn't run Leopard, I do have a Mac OS Tiger install disk that we could put in here to, oh. Wow, okay, that thing just, so it stayed at that screen for a while and now it appears it might be booting. Oh my goodness. The computer actually might be booting. So I'm wondering if like the hard drive might have a problem where it takes a while to boot up. But looking at it, it's, that appears to be like it's booting. So I, I maybe wonder if the hard drive might just be a bit old, so it takes a while to spin up. Maybe could get a new hard drive or maybe even an SSD in here if Apple used to allow that. It certainly is taking a while to boot, but... Just in case, we might still need to install Mac OS Leopard or Tiger, as I don't know, maybe this operating system, if we need to switch out the hard drive or wipe the thing, it'd be worth installing Leopard, as Leopard is the latest operating system these can run, because this Leopard was the last official version to support PowerPC. All right, well, the fans just turned on, and they are, per they are pushing a lot of air. Oh, wait. Oh, they turned off. All right, it looks like this computer might just be booting up in a long time, so it's gonna take a while, but that was crazy how the fans turned on. But we still have the spinning icon, so still gonna have to wait for it to boot up. Alright, so it's been about five minutes since I recorded the last clip, and it's still spinning. So, I'm starting to get the um, idea that maybe this thing is just stuck. I'm going to leave it for a bit longer. Um, I mean, it's still spinning after about, it's been about running for about six, seven minutes now. It's just been spinning, so... I'm gonna go. Um, you guys can watch it if you want to. I'm gonna go. Um, I have other things to do while this thing boots up. Um, yeah, you guys can watch it. It's fine. I don't really know what to do. But I probably should not leave the camera running so long while I'm gone because it's recording in 4K. So, all right, I'm gonna... Go to the next clip. Bye-bye. All right, I'm starting to get the feeling that this thing is just stuck as nothing has happened. 
it's been about 10 minutes now um yeah not, nothing has been happening it's just still been spinning um i don't know what to do i'm guessing we should probably try to put a disc in there maybe try that um see if it'll actually boot to a cd if not we might be able to open it up as i do know that these models did have capacitor problems but i don't see any apparent problems on this thing i mean there's no lines on the screen um it actually started to display something so i'm just thinking that maybe it's just like maybe the operating system is old maybe the hard drive's old we could try um i'm gonna try plugging in a um keyboard so we can test that out so let's shut it off oh wait oh my goodness i was just about to stop i was just about to shut it off and something happened okay the computer is apparently decided to boot took about 10 minutes but something's happening Okay, so it looks like it's a, just a very dark white, but it's trying something. <laughs> um, clearly this thing just took a while to do what it wanted to do. Oops, let me move the camera. Um, and I wonder how long is it going to do this phase? Is it just going to, is it going to just sit here on this phase for a while? Or is it? Gotta move on. I'm sorry for the flickering on the screen. You really can't see that in real life. And it's not even a CRT. Like, this thing... This thing is thin. I mean, it's thin for the time that it came out. I mean, it's not really thin to today's standards. But it's not a CRT. But it is still stuck on that screen. So... I don't know. No one's secretly watching in that camera, right? I mean, I don't have it plugged into the internet. So, yeah. I'm also I'm also really curious about these because I know that they have, most of them had an airport card. So maybe we can get this thing on the internet. Um, as I, it would really be hard to run an ethernet cable all the way over to my desk. As I'm just starting this series, so I don't have any ethernet cables installed. Oh, okay. The, um the swirly thing on the bottom just disappeared and we have a mouse we have a we have a cursor on the screen okay so something's happening the computer is booting oh and here comes the spinning again well just in case it wants a keyboard i'll grab a keyboard this guy back so now it's got the keyboard. Get it plugged in. Keep an eye on that. Oh, looks like it's actually on the other side. It's not over on the left side. These ports are on the right side. All right. The keyboard is now plugged in, if you look there, and I have the Apple mouse. Also, you guys might see that there's an iMac G4 over there. That's where I stole the keyboard from, but this is the computer we're working on today. But it's still loading. So we had a cursor for a very short amount of time. Not seeing anything right now, though. Nothing showing up on the screen. I think I'm going to do a time lapse and... Because I have to go for a bit, so I'm going to start a time lapse. Oh, wait, it disappeared. Okay, can I move the cursor? Oh, I can move the cursor. All right, you're going to boot? I've never seen a computer that takes this long to do anything. That's really funny. All right, I don't see anything, so I'm thinking the hard drive might have issues. But... Yeah, there's nothing showing up. Huh. Yeah, there's nothing there. There's nothing showing up on the screen. Nothing yet. I wonder, I, is this like normal? Is it, I, I've never used a Power Mac 
I've never used, not a Power Mac, but this is an iMac. I've never used an iMac G5 before. I've used a Power Mac G5, but not an iMac G5. Do they normally take this long to boot up? I mean, this thing is newer than the G4, and the G4 doesn't even take this long to boot up. Can I do anything, buddy? Hello? Anyone in there? Can I do anything? Apparently, it doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll be back. I'm going to let this thing run, see if it does anything. See you guys in a bit. All right, everyone, so I got back and I ended up having to shut it off. I didn't have the camera on at the time, but it was still stuck at that same blue screen. So I think what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna do this, but I'm also gonna hold down the option key. All right, so I'm holding down option. See what boot volumes show up. Right. So here comes a long boot up process. I'm going to hold down the option key. I noticed it seems like with... Oh, all right. There go the fans. They're quite loud. But looking, I don't see any devices showing up. So that worries me. Now, there's one thing that I'm concerned of. If I put this leopard disc in there... Will I be able to get it back out? Um, as I do know that some of these the DVD drive breaks. But, you know what? I think it's worth it. So let's do that. Oh, actually, didn't even need to. An actual drive. So I think this is the drive that it was originally booting from. And I think that's why it took so long. Before, if I zoom in. You guys can see there that there's a drive called My Computer. Uh, here, if I zoom in, there, now it's focused. So I think that's the one that it was originally trying to boot from. So I'm not gonna put any disc in there yet. I think it's worth another go. So let's do that. All right, so it's in there, except the fans are very loud. So let's see if it does anything this time and actually boots, because that would be really nice if it did. And if not, I do. I think we will end up actually putting the disc in there, but that's why it's always good to wait, because sometimes things like that will happen or you find the disc. And we already knew there was something on there, as you saw from last time, but I didn't know if there were multiple volumes. Maybe they had a partition on it or something, but... Well, now we wait for this to boot up. Um, but in the meantime, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. I really want to do a bit more of these. It's kind of fun just doing a little bit of a restoration um, video. So I might do more of these. They take a while to film, but it's kind of fun making them. All right, nothing yet. We haven't seen anything yet. I have a question. Is there such thing as recovery mode on a Power Mac system? Can I boot this thing into recovery mode? Because if I could boot this thing into recovery mode, that uh, maybe I could like reinstall the operating system from that without having to put anything in the DVD drive? Is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Still waiting. Still going. So I have a thing. I have, okay, I'm having the idea that this either the hard drive in here is bad or just the operating system in here is bad because it's not it hasn't booted yet which is kind of concerning so i think well do i dare even put the disc in there i do have a plan b so all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna shut it off because nothing has happened yet and i'm guessing it's just gonna go into what it did before so knowing these machines here, they're supposed to be very easy to take apart. If we could take this thing apart and go on the inside, maybe we'd do something with it. But 
Oh my goodness. So this thing was clearly doing something because it is warm. It was clearly doing something. So. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull down the options bo option button again. See what I can do. We'll try booting from it again. But what I want to do this time is I just want to wait and see because I don't remember it getting. I don't remember hearing the hard drive the first time after I went to that blue screen. It just kind of hung, but this time the hard drive continued to spin. So I'm wondering if this thing is actually doing something when I go into the option menu. All right. Well, there's a loud noise. All right, everyone, so after a lot of debating, I think I might put the disc in there. The only thing I'm worried of is if this gets stuck in there, I don't know how to get it out. Hopefully Google could help me, but if this disc here gets stuck, <laughs> that'll be very bad. So here goes nothing. All right, it took the discs in there. The discs in there. All right. I really hope I can get this thing to boot from that disc. So that was my plan B because it didn't actually boot to the original hard drive. So I think it's worth us just booting from the disc, seeing it. Um, otherwise, I can take the iMac over here, the iMac G4, and I have a FireWire cable. So I could put this guy into target disc mode. And if I put this guy in a target disc mode, I can find everything on there and I could like do something to make it work. I don't know. Oh, uh, this is the first restoration I've ever done, but I do know after watching a few videos that there's such thing as target disc mode, but please work, please show up. I'm really, oh good. Mac OS X install DVD. I'm going to select this one there. So now you ready for that to boot? Now, if this one decides to boot, I hope it does. So I just have to wait for it to let me select it as it's loading right now, as you can see. Zoom in there. Is this just called the boot picker? Is that what they call that? I think it's called the boot picker. Oh, good. All right. Well, I'm going to boot from the install DVD. So let's click there. All right. I'm now booting from DVD. Let's go. Let's go. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. All right. So if this doesn't work, I'm going to be very concerned. Um, that might mean we have to open it up and actually fix the device, which I'm fine doing, except I do know that these ones have capacitor problems. I don't know how to put capacitors on a motherboard. I've never done that before and I really wouldn't want to break this machine. So now we just wait and see if it decides to boot. And I really hope it boots because if it doesn't boot, then my disc might be stuck in there and I don't want that to happen. So please work, please work, iMac G5. All right, it's still loading, but the, D the CD is doing something. Oh good, the fan's turned down. That means we're getting closer. It should do something, yes! All right, load up Leopard. All right, now load up, yes! This is the farthest we've gotten so far. Yay! All right, so the D CDs, the DVD technically is in there. So now we're gonna go, all right, so I want up here, I'm gonna go to um, utilities, and I'm going to go to disk utility. Now, I want to see if there's anything on here. I don't want to have to wipe the hard drive, but if there's enough room on there, maybe I can partition it and, like, put this on a separate partition. If that would work, that'd be amazing. All right, so I put the camera a bit closer to the computer so you guys can see. All right, so we have 120, oh, so it looks like this here. If you go to the partition map, how big is this drive? Okay, it doesn't say anything. Uh, two partitions, can we do that? Well, then we're gonna wipe the drive, and I don't wanna have to wipe the drive. But... All right, so this is the CD there. I'm not gonna erase the CD, because that'd be very bad. 
Um, but looking here, I don't see anything. Do they have a thing where you can actually just check what's on the drive? Does that work? Probably not. All right, I'm gonna verify this drive and check and see if there's anything on there. So looking at it, it doesn't seem like anything's showing up. So if I go into partition, yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing there. Um, I don't really want to partition it, but I'm gonna make a quick phone call and then I'll be right back. All right, so I made the phone call and it was to the original owner of this machine and he said there it's fine if I wipe it, there's nothing on there that they need anymore. So I'm just gonna close that disk utility and we're just gonna install Leopard. I know this thing can run Leopard since it's a G5. So we'll go here. Where do you want to install Mac OS 10? So it's gonna look for all the disks. Hopefully it'll decide. And I hope that drive shows up. If not, we might have a drive failure, which is okay. I can probably put a new hard drive in here. I just have to find a spare hard drive that's not being used, so. All right, so it's looking for disks and I really hope it'll find the hard drive. <laughs> so let's look in, looking for the drive. And this thing is getting toasty. It's like an oven. And that's, I think I know why that's, that's, probably, that's the reason why they switched to Intel processors is because PowerPC CPUs ran hot and they used a lot of power, except the only problem is, oh, it didn't find anything. Um, also, Power P, um, in, Intel CPUs not also get hot. They don't use as much power. So, where are you gonna go, Apple? All right. So I'm. So I. So the drive is already booted up. I'm just gonna go here. And I'm gonna go to Disk Utility. Oh, the sound of DVDs. You don't hear that anymore. All right. So I'm gonna go. Oh, actually, my computer showed up. All right. So I'm. If I go to Partition. My computer is using up the entire thing. I, this is actually showing up now, but I don't know if we do anything with it or do we kind of like partition the drive? Available space, so available space, size. All right, so if we partition this into two, so it says there's nothing on my computer. So I think they might've actually wiped it, which is funny. So if I now go and close out of this and I go to here and I don't see any disks though. So that's the problem. If I go back, preparing installation. So maybe this will wipe, wipe the cache so that the drive will show up. Please show up. No, there's no drive showing up. All right, so maybe what I end up doing is just wiping the drive. So if I go up to utilities and we go to disk utility, let me open that up. I'll go here and I'm just gonna say, yeah, let's just erase it. Uh, I don't think there's anything we need to do there. I'm just gonna name this Mac HD and I'll erase it. All right, there goes nothing. Yes. So you're going to replace my computer with this and then maybe the installer will let us do something. All right. So now it's, it says Mac HD. We're gonna go close out, go there. I agree. And there, Mac HD shows up. So let's look here. Install Mac OS, of course. I'm gonna click OK. Now let's customize the installation. Let's see what fun things we can get. Uh, I only speak English, so we don't need that. Uh, additional drivers, I guess that'll help. And X11, let's just throw it on there for fun. All right, so now we're only gonna need 9.5 gigabytes. So let's install, woohoo. All right, it took us, it's, we finally got to the part where we get to install it. And don't worry about and checking the DVD, I used it yesterday. So now it comes the long part. We Now we have to wait for it to install it. Now, depending on how fast this DVD drive is, it could take five minutes to two hours. I had a computer when I installed Leopard on it. It was actually one of the G4 computers. It took an hour and a half just to install Mac OS Leopard. So it says time remaining calculating. So this is exciting. We actually got somewhere the computer. So we wiped the hard drive and now we are installing Mac OS Leopard on here. If we get a clean installation, that'd be amazing. If we can actually get this computer to boot. 
would also be amazing. Um, so the drive is wiped and it's just says uh, installing Mac OS X on the volume Mac HD. So I'm still kind of wondering why it wouldn't let us install unless we wiped the drive. I wonder if it like, maybe that was the entire problem. Maybe that just the, maybe just the drive was, um, maybe the drive was just corrupted or something and it couldn't load anything. So I'm going to do a time lapse of this installing. Be right back. close to the um zero minute mark it's gonna be really exciting to see this um computer work it's really i probably i've probably been waiting here for probably an hour it's it said like 40 minutes no it's been close to an hour the amount of time that this thing has been going but um at least it's almost done um and let me tell you this thing is getting toasty like i put my hand on here it's hotter than like new computers But it'll be exciting to get this guy up and running. Um, it, I mean, this design, like, it kind of looks like they brought this back. At Apple's 2021 event, they launched a new iMac. It, it's, it looks exactly like this. Like, it has the white bezels, except they're definitely a lot thinner. Um, I mean, but the new one doesn't even have this Apple logo on it. It's just blank. But it is a white Apple logo. The new one does have a white Apple logo, which looks pretty cool. But... We are still waiting for this thing to get done. And then I have quite a bit of software I'm gonna put on here. We have um, iLife, we got iWork, we got AppleWorks. Um, I'm really excited to use this thing for things like an old version of Xcode we have. That'd be cool. But the hard drive on this thing isn't big. I'd probably use my Power Mac G5 more for that that I've shown in a lot of previous episodes. But like it says, two minutes remaining. It's probably been about a minute since it said two minutes, and it still says it, so it might take a while. Also, I don't know. Am I allowed to play the music from the Apple intro song? Like, is that copyrighted music, or is that okay to play? Like, will I get a copyright strike for that? I hope I don't, because I really like that song for Leopard. You know what? I'm just going to play it. I don't make money on YouTube anyway. <laughs> I don't have enough subscribers to get monetized yet, so even if they put advertisements, it's not my money, so they can have it. So I'm just going to put this on there so you guys can enjoy it. But it still says two minutes. It's already been about two minutes, so looks like more waiting. All right, we made it to about a minute remaining. You can do it, G5. Now, I don't know what the specs on this computer are, but we'll figure that out once it's done with its installation. But all I know is that if you're wondering, this G4 will be in a, in a new in a video very soon, except it's already working. Um, that G4, though, I put the little eyesight camera on it. That one is a 1 gigahertz, 512 megabytes of RAM version. I do not know what this guy is yet, but it'll be nice to know. And I really just like this form factor. I think this was like, in my opinion, this is one of my favorite um, PowerPC Macs, mostly because... One, it had the iSight camera built in, and it, it was like that all-in-one form factor, kind of like the original iMac. Except, I like this design even a bit more than the G4. And the only reason I say that is the G4 just takes up a bit more space. I mean, it's super cool how, like, you can move the monitor around. But this G5 even, I think this is where they got, like, the new iMac design. Like, newer iMacs have pretty much the same design. But I think this is my front of my in the top five of my favorite G um, power PC computers. But still waiting for that to get done. Installing Mac OS to the volume Mac HD. Time remaining about a minute. Well, should be done any minute now. And look at that old Aqua theme. You don't see that anymore. It's doing it. Okay, so I just heard the drive start spinning up, so I thought to record again. I think it's almost done. You can probably hear it. Also, while that's waiting, I noticed this thing has an airport card in it, as 
there's a little Wi-Fi symbol, so this thing must have airport. So we can actually connect this thing to Wi-Fi, which will be amazing. Come on, finish. It made it to the end. Installation successful. Install succeed. Restart. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. All right, let's see if it actually decides to boot up this time. Or if it's just gonna say no drive could be found. Cause this is gonna be the big thing. Remember how last time it took a while for it to find the drive to boot to. So I really hope it decides to boot to this one. But just in case, I'm gonna hold down the option key so that it knows to boot to the right one. Okay, there's the bong. You gonna boot to the right drive, buddy? Let's go. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Come on. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, we have an apple. Is this the CD or DVD though? Is this gonna be the Leopard install DVD? I hope not. It better be the hard drive. Yeah, this time it didn't actually, it didn't give us the error that there was no drive being found. So, did it, did it work? Did the installation actually work? Well, it's certainly taking a while to load, so maybe this is the hard drive. Who knows? Okay. All right, <gasps> all right. Yep, yeah, this is definitely the hard drive. We have a spinning beach ball. Here comes the intro. worked that's amazing i'm so happy that worked let's get set up i love that song it's definitely my, my favorite intro apple bring those intro videos back uh, i don't have another mac to transfer from so all right so i am going to connect to the wi-fi here yeah let's connect Continue. I wonder if this will ever work. Oh my goodness, it actually worked. Okay, so I do have an Apple ID, except the only problem is, if you notice, this was the time when they had at Mac and at me. So this is around the mobile me time. And when I tried this on my Power Mac G5, it didn't work. So I'm not gonna sign in. All right, uh, shall I register? All right, I'm gonna turn off the camera for this. All right, we made it through the registration process. Let's see, where is this family going to be used? Um, home business. And which best describes you? Well, I guess I'm kind of a video and film because I make YouTube videos and no, I don't want anything. Wait, okay, I'm just gonna check. I'm just gonna leave this box checked for fun. Will it actually, so I did put in my email. So password, what shall I make it? All right, um, do I have to have a password? Can I just make it so I don't have a password? Also, I noticed I accidentally put an extra space there. So leave it like that, continue. Oh, you need a password. Um, oh, okay. It, oh, that's funny, talking with Apple. Is that because people didn't know what the internet was back then? It just says talking with Apple. I don't think Apple's going to talk back to you, buddy. You came out in before 2010, so I don't think Apple wants to chat anymore. <laughs> this would actually be funny if it actually registers this computer under my name, even though 
this computer hasn't really been produced for probably about 10 years now. They haven't made this computer in a long time. Actually, when did the iMac G5 come out? <laughs> Alright, well, it's still talking with Apple, so I wonder how long this registration is going to take. It's kind of funny that it's still thinking it's going to talk with Apple. I wonder what would it, I wonder if it would have done this if I'd never connected it to Wi-Fi. Oh, good. Oh. Sorry, I had to blur that out. It showed me. I don't want to show my face yet on camera. All right, which picture works? I'll do the flower. That's my favorite one. All right. Thank you. Let's get started. <gasps> we have a Mac. The iMac G5. It's up and running. Woohoo! Oh, I like that wallpaper. To be honest, my favorite one is actually the Big Sur wallpaper, but that one's not bad. All right. Ta-da! We actually have a machine up and running. Optional installs. Ooh, Xcode tools. What is this? They have some extra software. We can install this. It will be added through the necessary software. All right, what is this? Oh, iPod support, yes. What are the applications it gives me? Well, I really already have all of these, so maybe I do it. Is it worth it? You know what? I'm gonna install some of these. I mean, oh, but a lot of these are already installed. I mean, if you look down here, like mail and stuff, that's already installed, but you know what? I'm just gonna do it. And I guess additional fonts is what I thought it was. Printer drivers. Okay, well this mean it could work with my actual printer that I have right now? Hewlett Packard printer drivers. Well, that's HP. So, install, 1.8 gigabytes. How long will this take? I hope it doesn't take too long. Uh, no password, that's right. Well, it's certainly installing something. Oh, and here comes software update. There are softwares available for your computer. Software updates available from your computer. iLife support. I'll be back once all these things are done installing, everyone. This is going to take a little bit. Well, all right, everyone. Um, thanks for coming along this ride of fixing up this iMac G5. It's really nice to know it's um, up and running. But before we close off the video, I kind of want to go through like some of the applications that are on here. So all of these applications were pre-installed. I haven't installed anything yet. I do have iLife and iWork um, that I want to get installed on here as well as some games. But probably something you guys have been wanting to know since the beginning are what are the specs of this thing? Well, here they are. This is a 1.9 gigahertz PowerPC G5 with 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. And it has the hard drive, which I have selected there. And this is a, two, this is a 2008 because it's um, running Leopard. So looking here, we have 1.9 gigahertz. Is this a core? Does How many cores are in this thing, or is it a single core? Because that'd be really cool if this was a... Um... And the funny thing is, this is actually, in that case, if it's 1.9 gigahertz, that means it's faster than my Power Mac G5. My Power Mac G5 is only 1.8 gigahertz, and it has one core and one CPU. So that's actually really cool. That, that thing is even better. So there are no um, cards in here, but it does have an airport card, and that's how you're able to connect it to Wi-Fi which is really cool, as well as memory. Wow, we, I could actually, theoretically, we could actually get this thing up to two gigabytes of RAM. I just don't have any DDR2 RAM lying around. But this is a decently good computer. I mean, I don't know how much this would have sold for back in the day, but just looking at it, I mean, I would have bought it. Oh, and there's an iDisk you can get. I don't, I don't think they have iDisk anymore. It's probably all iCloud. But I'll move the applications down here, make because that's how I like using them. And I think probably most people would have used this computer as well as the iMac G4 for um, using front row. At least that's what I would use it for because of the small form factor. You could basically just set this on a TV stand or a table in your living room, and put all your burn all your DVDs, run them on here. You could use front row. Because I think Front Row is ahead of its time. I'm sad Apple got rid of it, but I, did they, I guess they did introduce the Apple TV. But Front Row I thought was so cool. So we'll get out of Front Row. But for the most part, the experience on here is very quite speedy. I mean, everything opens in like one jump is how I measure the opening speed is by one jump. 
um they have the apple wallpapers i really like this one but i think i'm or for for funny should we just do the jaguar or classic eh let's leave it on this one just to kind of make it know it's leopard um <laughs> Uh, now, the only problem is you really can't use Safari on here. You're going to have to use a new computer just to get any page to open. Unless this guy, they actually fixed it. But there is a website that I know that I can actually get stuff on for old PowerPC. But look at that. That's how it loads Apple's website. Wow. That's not too well. That's how it finished it. iMac, say hello. So that's kind of funny how it like you're loading the original iMac with that kind of a design to the new iMac with that design. This isn't the original iMac, but it's the first one to have that kind of design iPad Pro. Well, it certainly doesn't load it too well, but it sort of runs it. How does it do Google? How does google.com? How does google.com work? I love how it always gets it to HTTP and easy to be HTTPS. There we go. Ooh, zoom in on the screen there. So this is kind of funny how it it's connected to Wi-Fi. It has everything it needs, just really hard for it to load up these new web pages. But that's where your programs like 104 Fox and Camino come in, as they can help you run old computers on the web. I do have a version of that. I might do a follow-up video on that, but I guess for now I can say thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was my first official restoration making a video for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day. Check out some of my other videos if you want to. And until then, have a great rest of your day and goodbye.